Hi, my name is Neha Varma and I'm a speech language pathologist. I've often been asked by parents about building on reading skills and phonics and how should I introduce my child to phonics. And today I just want to touch base briefly about, you know, building that strong foundation for reading and one activity that would really start to build that foundation. So phonics is basically understanding a relationship between sounds and the letters that represent them. So for example, if you show your child the letter M, knowing that, you know, when you when they look at the letter M that it's it is a letter and it is M, but also to understand that it actually makes a sound and that sound is mmm. So when they are saying mama, it's mmm, ah, mmm, ah, mama. Or if they are trying to say man, it's three different sounds, m, mm, a, ah, n, mm, or three different letters that they were able to read there. So really understanding that there is a very strong relationship between the letter name and the sound that it makes. To be able to read, you really need to build on strong phonological awareness and word awareness and build on those strong phonic skills. So what is phonological awareness? Phonological awareness is all about spoken language. So really understand that it's all about the sounds of spoken language and it's not written language. And word awareness is understanding that our phrases, our sentences are made up of different words. So for your first activity today, let's focus on word awareness and really working through that um, to build on um, those phonological skills. So to introduce your child to phonics, step one, build on word awareness. Now, how do you do that? Pick up any toy that your child is interested in. So let's say your child loves doing blocks. I have a bunch of blocks here and I'm going to really separate my blocks out and I'm going to say a sentence. So start with two words and then slowly build that up to three, four and five words. So let's say I say she jumps how many words is that she jumps and you know give your child that opportunity to try but if not i would really model it and pull a block and say she jumps how many blocks do i have two one two she jumps so how many words did mama say two words she jumps and build on that. So let's say you say a sentence like, I like candy. I like candy. And how many blocks does mama have? And then really count those with your child. So, you know, you can really build on from two words all the way up to four or five words. And kids love to do this. They really want to count on the words in a sentence that you might give them. So you could do this with blocks. Um, if your child loves trains and they have those little train tracks, I would do that. Let's say you don't have access to blocks or trains or any toys that you know they could manipulate and build on. I would really clap. She jumps. How many words did mama say? She jumps. Did you hear two claps? Listen, count again. She jumps. And really draw that attention to how many times you were clapping your hands. You could also just make little, you know, chalk boxes and have your child jump. 
So how many jumps did you make? She jumps, I like candy, you know, things like that. So really build on some very, very simple sentences and move on and build on that word awareness. Your child needs to understand that sentences are made up of words and then we can work on breaking down those words to build on letter awareness, letter sound awareness, and those reading skills. While you're doing this activity, I really want you guys to be playful. So really get, get down on the floor, um, do something that your child is interested in, um, you know, whether it is, you know, playing um, with blocks, like I mentioned, or it is, you know, drawing or coloring and making little strokes, do that. Um, be very clear on the words that you say. So, you know, if you're saying she jumps, I would really say that consistently till you work and build on that. Um, you know, don't keep adding because then that gets a little bit confusing for your child. Um, be very clear. So you want to be clear in how you speak and how you engage your child. And um, just have a lot of fun.